In fact, right now I've got a former winner. Check it out. Bra. We go now to the 10th place finisher in the 1997 Smack Off. That's how long this cat has been around. He enters today too. Goodbye Horses by Lazarus. Thanks to Silence of the Lambs, usually when you hear this song, you think about a serial killer. But today, it's all about the 01 Smack Off winner. That's right. He may have taken 10th in 97, but he won the whole thing in 01. Then he fell back to 9th in 02. He is the longest tenured Smack Off caller, not named Carbone. He is the oldest of the old school. Today, he tries to tap into that 2001 magic. Let's go to the bra. Let's go to Silk. Silk, take it away. What's up? What a fabulous intro, bro. My green jacket may be a little moth-eaten, bro, but here I am. I enjoy the show, of course. But I want to first send out some positive vibes to the Rosalita of the jungle, bro. Mr. Thunder Road, the man who was born to run, the one who cannot be bought for 30 pieces of silver. <clears throat> Trapper, hope you're doing well, bro. I'll see you soon. Bro, it's been a busy week, uh, Jim. I want to first say thank you to all my British fans listening to me online or is on, on cue, as they say, across the pond, bro. Your Brexit fiasco really caused my portfolio to take a hit. That's right, clones. I have a portfolio. As you all know, I invest heavily in aluminum futures, bro. Not shocked that a country whose contribution to the world is colonialism, ruining beer with too much hops, and losing to Iceland, that they'd be able to get it so wrong. Now, being on the show as long as I have, I tend to take a long view in regards to the history of the callers to the show, or as we historians say, the long durée. Um, for anywhere from Lance and LaCosta to Scrooge to Bobby in Brooklyn, Mark in Hollywood, Bodie. It takes all kinds to make up the rich fabric of the show that we love. I just want to offer a few opinions on some of our current callers. Uh, to my colleague Vic in NoCal, by way of Broadway or by way of who knows where he is, uh, um, Vic's made some legendary calls. But really, Vic, where are you? Uh, he's been rumored to be, from what I've heard, living anywhere from Chiapas to Petaluma to San Diego. See, I actually picture Vic. Uh, like that old creepy guy in that Jodie Foster movie, Contact. He's flying around in a plane, keeping his interests mobile. But I can't wait to hear you later today. Now, Chael and Mike, proving tandem calls still don't work despite the scoreboard. Uh, an alleged drugged-up ex-fighter who's been knocked out more times than Glass Joe and the leader of the Midwest Mafia. That's some mafia, Mike. Uh, Mike is more like Snaps Provolone than he is uh, Tony Soprano. And I'm officially renaming it the Flyover Mafia. Mike, I will wave to you on my way to New York later this month. Uh, Stevie from LMU, still calling. I, I love that, too. Um, he makes six figures, allegedly, for spoiling The Bachelor and The Bachelorette. I mean, that's great, I guess. I mean, it's great work if you can get it. But couldn't we all do what he does? Uh, clones, spoiler alert. The show is going to hire some vapid, jobless eye candy and stock the dating pu pool with a few heels. And then when they're all going to sex each other. Pay me my six figures. By the way, does Frisco, Texas have a mall yet? And because I go equal opportunity, bro, let me get to uh, the lone jungle female representation, and that's Sarah T. Um, I've heard her on the show, of course. By the way, Sarah, the word is bra, B-R-A-H, not bra. -r. But uh, to get a true sense of Sarah, you need to follow her on Twitter. She tweets a lot of uh, political stuff. It turns out she's just a little bit to the right of Mussolini interviews. She's like the jungles and Coulter. Except it turns out I think Sarah T is actually smart and attractive. Um, Sarah tweets more Obama and Hillary memes than the Drudge Report. Sarah, when Hillary and Elizabeth Warren win in November, I'm going to fly out there, waving to Mike in India as I fly over, and march you through the streets of Pawtucket doing this. Shame. 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 Bra, I want to invite you and everyone within the sound of my voice to my exclusive post smack off party today at Sandy's in Huntington Beach underneath Dukes at the Pier, bra. Jungle luminaries will be there. The CEO will be there. Everyone's going to be there, bra. I'll talk to you later, bra. Nice job, Silk. Way to go. You know, not bad. Every caller except Stevie Carbone in the first hour made it to the end of their phone call. Always dicey to come in with the A, hey, uh, bra. Let me break down some of the callers, and you get a lot of that, but you got through it. 